guys, so again, I am back with another one of my videos and hopefully you guys can tell that the image quality is like a hundred times better. I got my new HD camera and this is my first time using my new camera so I know this video is not going to be perfect. The lighting is probably off. The way I am looking is probably totally off but I am just learning how to use my new camera so hopefully as I use my camera more often I will definitely improve. I was just so excited to use my new camera and just show you guys like the quality hopefully has improved. I think it has improved like as I'm filming right now I can actually like tell what kind of makeup I'm wearing I can actually see like my lip color and I can and I can see all my blemishes I mean that is a good thing right I mean mine is like the blemish part but I know that the quality has improved and hopefully you guys can tell that the quality has improved and I'm just so excited to have a new camera and have better quality so I can actually film better videos. So today's video is my um, top beauty products of 2011. I can't believe 2011 is over. It feels like yesterday I was saying I can't believe 2010 is over. But I'm excited for a new year and 2011 was considered my beauty year because I started to make um, beauty videos on YouTube. I started to experiment more with makeup, different brands like drugstore brands, um, high-end brands, different products, different colors. So 2011 was definitely like my year of beauty. So I definitely have a lot of products I was loving during the whole year of 2011 and I actually filmed a um, video a couple days ago like the worst products of 2011, like the products that I really didn't like to use or like the products I regret buying. Um, I filmed that on my computer a couple days ago so the quality is probably not as good as this quality. I already edited it so if you guys still want to see it um, even though the quality is not as great let me know but if you want me to refilm it I'll definitely refilm it. Um, but yeah so I don't even know if I want to put that like worst beauty product video up because as I was thinking about it, it really is kind of contradictory because some of the products I mentioned in that video I like talked about or used in past videos, but some of the products that like I used, I like used them for a couple like weeks, couple days, and then I realized that I didn't like them anymore. So that's why I included it in kind of like the worst beauty products 2011 video. But if you guys still want to see it, let me know. I just don't want to like send off the wrong message. So, alright, so this video is all about my favorite products of 2011. I know this video is probably going to be super long, so that's why I'm talking super fast because I just had like so much to tell you guys and I have so much to talk about. So the first product um, that I was loving throughout the year of 2011 is a face product and I recently purchased this, well like not recently, but I purchased this in like the late summer, early fall, but I've been using it ever since so I thought it deserved to be in this video and it's a Neutrogena foundation and this is the Skin Clearing Foundation and this foundation is awesome because it actually prevents and heals blemishes. So this is what it looks like, I'm so excited because my camera actually focuses now. So yeah, that's what it looks like and I just love this foundation. I use it every day. I've been using it ever since I purchased it and it really gives me a really natural look without looking too cakey or unnatural and I just love how it prevents and heals blemishes. I really does help heal my blemishes. It helps prevent like breakouts. Like I still get breakouts once in a while but not as often as I would if I wasn't using this product. Okay, and then moving on to eye products. I have a lot of eye products that I was loving throughout 2011. And the first one is an eyeshadow trio. And this is the Wet n Wild Trio in Walking on Eggshells. And this is what it looks like. And I just love this trio so much because this is my first Wet n Wild like eyeshadow product. And I was just so impressed because the eyeshadows are super pigmented. And this is such a great palette because it is neutral. It is very subtle and I use this trio a lot especially for school. It's very natural and it's not too harsh for school so I love it and I'm just so impressed with these trios that this one trio made me buy pretty much all of these Wet n Wild trios. Then another eyeshadow I was loving was this Milani Single Eyeshadow in Silver Charm. And this is like not like my only silver eyeshadow but for some reason when I wear like a silver eyeshadow this is the eyeshadow that I use like I don't use any of my MAC eyeshadows I use this shadow because it's just so sparkly and shimmery and I always use it on my lid and it's great especially when you want to do like a smoky eye or a nighttime look. Next product is an eyeshadow palette and it is my 
Naked Palette by Urban Decay and this is the only eyeshadow palette that I'm included in this video because I purchased this in the early summer because I wanted it and I finally got it and this is the palette that I use the most. I have like my Stila palette, my Inglot palette, my MAC palettes and I love all my palettes. I use them a lot, I love them. But for some reason I use this Urban Decay palette like pretty much every day. So I had to include this because I use this every day. I love all the colors. I feel like you can achieve any look, like a daytime look, a nighttime look, and it's awesome. And this is what it looks like. I'm sure you guys already know what it looks like. Moving on to eyeliners and mascaras. This mascara I use a lot and I still use it. For some reason I always reach for it. And it's my Ramel Day to Night Mascara. And this mascara is awesome. I love how it gives you a length brush and a volume brush because I think that is like the coolest thing ever. One brush really does lengthen my lashes. The other brush really gives my lashes a lot more volume. And I just love it and I just use this a lot for some reason. This has been like my favorite mascara and it is awesome. The first eyeliner is like the best eyeliner ever and it's the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. And I use this every day. Look at there's a big crack on the cap. Oh my goodness, my camera focused on that. How cool, I'm so excited. So I use this every day. Um, it's just a basic white creamy eye pencil, but I love using this because it's so versatile. I use it as a primer all on my eyelid and my brow bone. I use it as an eyeliner and I use it especially in my inner corners just to brighten up my eyes. And I just love it. It's so creamy and pigmented. And then a couple other eyeliners include my Urban Decay 24-7 eye pencil in stash and I just love this eye pencil I use this a lot on my waterline it's just a really pretty dark sparkling kind of green and it is awesome because it's not as harsh as like a black eyeliner but it definitely adds like a pop of color to your eye makeup and then another eyeliner I use this a lot in the summer because I was really into like bronze eyeshadows and this eyeliner completed like any bronze eyeshadow look and it's the Sephora Flashy Liner Waterproof and Flashy Copper and these eyeliners are so creamy and these are great for your waterline because it stays on forever and this is such a gorgeous gold color and it looked great when I was actually like tan and it looked great for the summer. And then my last eyeliner is a liquid eyeliner and I use this every day because I'm really into um, cat eyes now. Now and I wing out my eyeliner pretty much every single day and this eyeliner makes it so easy. And it's the Maybelline New York Line Stiletto Liquid Eyeliner and this eyeliner is awesome. It is a felt tip eyeliner which makes it super super easy to um, achieve like a cat eye or a winged out eyeliner. And I just love it. It glides on super easy. You know, you can create a thin line on your upper lash line or a thick line. So I use this a lot pretty much every single day. Oh, I almost forgot an eye product and this should not be forgotten because I use this pretty much every single day. And it's the MAC Paint Pot in Bare Study. It looks like. And you probably see me use this a lot in tutorials because when I say I use it every day, I pretty much use it every single day except for today. I mean, that doesn't make sense, but I pretty much use it every single day, but I didn't use it today because I'm wearing like a silver eyeshadow look, but pretty much I wear a lot of like browns and like champagne colors and like light brown colors. I always use my Bare Study Paint Pop because this keeps my shadows on throughout the whole day. This paint pot makes like my brown and champagne eyeshadow colors really pop and more vibrant. So I use this every single day and I love the paint pots. They're super creamy and I just use it every single day. And then move it on to lip products. Really never used lip products until like a couple months ago. I didn't want to include like too many lip products because like some of the lip products I just like purchased last week. I, but I wanted to include some lip products. So the first lip product I am going to include is my Wet n Wild Color Icon Lip Pencil in Plumberry. And this has changed my whole outlook on lip pencils and lipsticks. This is like the only lip liner I have, but this is only 89 cents and I love these Wet n Wild lip pencils because lip pencils are awesome because they really do shape your lips and really kind of prime your lips for like your lipstick or lip gloss. And I love this color because I've been wearing a lot of like purples and bold lip colors and this really does help shape my lip and get my lips ready for my gorgeous lipsticks. And then 
A lipstick that I love and I've been wearing, wearing it a lot is the Sephora lipstick and this is like the star brand but at first I thought this lipstick was called star but it's not it's the star brand the star brand is like very shimmery and very like sparkly and very creamy and this is what it looks like and this is in the number s11 and it's a really pretty violet um, plum color and a couple more like miscellaneous products is a nail polish and this is the color club nail polish in Age of Aquarius, I believe the name fell off, but it's called Age of Aquarius. And this nail polish, I'm almost done with. And this is like the first nail polish that like I almost like finished. And I love this color. I bought this in like the early part of summer, and this just reminds me of summer. I pretty much wore this every single day in summer because it's a gorgeous teal color, and especially when I was tan, it looked great on my fingers and toenails. And teal was like the color I was loving throughout summer. And um, this was my first Color Club um, nail polish and ever since this I've just been loving Color Club nail colors and yeah so I love this color and I wore it a lot throughout the summer and I probably wear this in the winter because this reminds me of summer and I really want summer now. And then another product is this Sephora um, makeup brush cleaner. I know like a makeup brush cleaner in her favorites video but I just love this um i'm really bad at like cleaning my brushes until i found out like they're full of like bacteria but like it's always a pain in the neck to take like shampoo or like baby shampoo and like rinse your brushes i wanted something where i could just like spray right then and there and then it would be done and like i want something to kill germs because i don't want germs on my brushes especially when i put them like close to my eyes so this is awesome all you do is just spray it on your brushes wipe it off on a towel and you are done and it kills germs so now I am really good at cleaning my brushes. So yeah, those are all the products I wanted to mention in this video. I mean, I wanted to mention a lot more products, but I mean, I didn't want to like mention like 200 products, but if I could, I probably would mention my whole makeup collection in these like favorites videos because it's really hard for me to pick like specific like products I was like loving because like usually I change like my makeup look like every single day. Like I don't have like one product I use pretty much like every day, but these are the products I use like pretty much like every day or every other day so these are definitely like my favorites that I was loving throughout 2011 so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I hope you guys enjoy my camera quality hopefully you guys can tell because I would be really sad if like you couldn't even tell but I am running out of battery because I just opened my camera and I really didn't charge it so that's why I'm talking really really fast so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any other video requests please let me know thank you guys so much for watching and thank you guys for everything and I'll see you next video bye